Very sad time. Yes, Allah has blessed us with the technology and the progress and the improvement. Allah has blessed us. Make use of it. Enjoy it. I love it. I love technology. That's why I walk with two iPhones. One for me and one for you. Do believe that. Eh? One for the community when they call me and one I do my personal calls. Yeah? Because it's what you call service and khidmat to the people. Because some people call me for a whole two hours, so I listen on one phone and I do my work on the next phone. Because you could listen, you got two ears. Yeah. But, but what I'm saying, love the technology, love the progress for those of you who came late. But please, when Allah tells us about Illa man atallah bi qalbin salim. Yawma la yanfa'u ma'loon wa la banoon. For those of you who came late, the day of judgment, it's not what our children possess in this world and what we possess. Allah says, enjoy it. You enjoy life. Nobody halal, you enjoy it. Eat halal, dress halal, sleep halal, marry halal, enjoy it. But Allah says, that's not important to him on the day of judgment. He wants to know that we had a good heart down here, Qalb as salim And unfortunately, a lot of times, it's because of these worldly things, our hearts reduced its quality and its piety and its taqwa and its salamat. And then we don't find the salamat. We don't find the peace in it. So my brothers and sisters, may Allah forgive us, may Allah guide us. I hope no one feels offended, but this is a sad reality. It's a sad reality. It's a sad reality. I know that's why, you know, and I have, a, I, there are a lot of people who are going with us on this Umrah in Ramadan next year in March. And that's why some of them is like, we don't know. We don't. I'm saying like, enjoy what Allah has given. Allah has given you the means. Go enjoy your life in a spirit. That's called a spiritual vacation. A spiritual vacation. You have a spiritual journey and you enjoy it. There are people who look for the opportunity in Ramadan to just go by the house of Allah and have a peace, qalb salim look at the Kaaba, give the road. Do you know, once upon a time, you could have walked by and give salam to the Prophet and walking to the Rawda. Now you've got to make an appointment. Technology. You've got to have a smartphone, download the Nusk app. Do you know, once upon a time, you could not have a camera in Masjid al and in the Haram. They will take it, they will mash it up, they will crush it and throw it away. You could not use a phone in the masjid. <laughs> now technology has improved so much, which is good. I love technology. They tell you download a Nusuk app and get an appointment to go and give salam. Do you see our Prophet Sallallahu I mean, while everyone would love to be the president of America and be the richest people in the world and the top in the world and the elite, my brothers and sisters, the person with that qalb salim Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Humble, loving, kind, generous. That was the man. There is nobody in the world, no prophets even, that have thousands and hundreds of thousands of people that go to visit their grave every day, except Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Can we follow his footsteps? You want to follow Trump footsteps? You want to follow Biden footsteps? Both of them trying to put each other in jail. You follow them, they'll put you in jail too. Huh? They're spending all their last dollar to put each other in jail. Do you think after, you think Obama and Bush have any kind of lovers like the Prophet has? Huh? Hundreds of thousands at the end of the year, millions at the end of the year go to just say assalamu alaikum to him in his grave? That is status. That is kabuliyat. That is acceptance. That is the leadership. That is whom we should love and follow and want to be like him. That's what we need to do. And if we live like him and be like him, because he has attained it, you and I, you know, this is not about something saying on the day of judgment you will see that. It's happening right now. The Muslims and the non-Muslims in the world can see and prove the success of Islam. <clears throat> and what made him who he is? He lived the Quran. He did not turn away from the dhikr of Allah. He lived to obey the laws of the Quran. <clears throat> Hazrat Aisha radiallahu ta'ala and has said that he is the living Quran. He did not turn away from the commands of Allah. So you and I please remember today as we remind ourselves, don't turn away. If you can't follow and obey, Allah, give me the iman and the strength that I can follow your laws and, and obey your commands, inshallah. Make the intention. Make the intention. Don't just re ignore it. Don't ignore it because that can create depression stress and frustration in our life.
All right, so I think I gotta conclude, but you know, I know it's a, a holiday weekend. I see we have a lot of visitors in town. I like to share a little joke because this is a very serious khutbah. So I gotta share a little husband and wife joke with you, right? And then we'll conclude. Somebody sent it to me, but the person is not here today, so I wouldn't call his name. It's a halal joke, don't worry. So the, <laughs> there was this wife who was arguing with her husband, and she said, you know, I, I get all my work completed at the end of the day, and I get all my work finished at the end of the day, and the husband said there's a difference with completed and finished. He said, how could there be a difference? If I complete all my work and I finish all my work, it's the same thing. Is there any difference with complete and finished? So she said, my husband, what's the difference with co completed and finished? He said, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. I know some of the ladies may not like this joke, but don't stop coming to Darulum if you don't like it. It's just a joke. That's why I have to declare it's a joke. But it may be a reality in some people's life. So the husband said, my wife, when I got nikah with you and you came into my life, my life, your, when I got nikah to you and I came into your life, he said, your life became completed. Wow, she smiled so big, it didn't have more space in her mouth to smile. So happy that her life became completed when that husband came in her life. He said, but when I got married to you, and you came into my life, my life was finished. <laughs> Kalas, katam. So, sometimes words can have different meanings in different contexts. I know it was a little sad, strong khutbah, so I had to make you laugh a little bit. So you didn't think that I'm some kind of radical extremist. I'm a realistic person, but I like to remind my, 